The world of Nescafe, where the journey from fresh green coffee beans to pure, soluble coffee granules is a meticulous yet rewarding process. Today, we're taking you behind the scenes to reveal how we transform 100% pure coffee into the Nescafe you love, using nothing but water and beans. Nescafe begins by carefully selecting and blending two main types of coffee beans, Arabica and Robusta. Each bean type brings its unique characteristics to our blends, creating the perfect cup every time. Arabica beans, sourced from Latin America, East Africa, and Asia, are known for their elongated shape and sweet, delicate flavor. These beans craft a smooth, aromatic cup of coffee that's perfect for any occasion. On the other hand, Robusta beans, shorter and rounder, are cultivated in the humid climates of Southeast Asia and West Africa. They provide a stronger, more intense flavor with a heavier, bitter taste that coffee enthusiasts crave. We also include Canilon beans, a close relative of the Robusta plant, grown on Brazilian coffee farms. These beans add an extra layer of richness and depth to our blends. From farm to cup, Nescafe is committed to quality. Our journey involves selecting the finest beans, meticulously blending them, and transforming them into the pure, soluble coffee granules that deliver the perfect Nescafe experience every time. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into the fascinating process of how your favorite Nescafe coffee is made. Chapter one, growing. The trip of every Nescafe coffee starts in nurseries where young coffee plants are carefully cared for six to 12 months. When the plants are strong enough, they are moved to the fields by skilled coffee farmers. With the right care, these plants start to grow well and finally make coffee cherries. The cherry seed, which is a coffee bean, starts to grow about 18 months after it was planted. After about three years, the coffee trees produce the best coffee cherries because they are at their most productive. Millions of people depend on these cherries to make the 100% pure Nescafe coffee grounds that get them going in the morning. Chapter two, harvesting. One of the most important steps in making Nescafe coffee is harvesting the coffee cherries. Farmers know it's time to pick the cherries when they turn a specific shade of red. They rely on their years of experience to make sure they harvest at just the right moment. This careful timing is crucial. The farmer's expertise ensures the cherries are picked when they are at their best, which helps keep the coffee trees healthy and productive for up to 20 years. Proper harvesting not only provides high quality cherries, but also supports the long-term health of the coffee trees. Inside these cherries are the coffee beans, which are actually a light green color before roasting. It's only after roasting that they turn the rich brown color we recognize as coffee. Roasting brings out the beans flavor and aroma, preparing them to be made into the soluble coffee granules that Nescafe is known for. By picking the cherries at the perfect time, farmers ensure that Nescafe coffee is of the highest quality. Their skill and dedication are key to producing the delicious coffee enjoyed by people around the world. Chapter three, the magic of roasting. Roasting is where green coffee beans transform into the golden brown granules that give Nescafe its rich flavor and aroma. It's a crucial step that requires precision. For Arabica beans known for their delicate taste, a light roast is used to bring out their subtle flavors. Robusta beans with a bolder taste undergo a stronger roast for a more intense flavor. Nescafe ensures that every batch is roasted at the perfect temperature, guaranteeing a consistent and enjoyable coffee experience. The result is a cup of Nescafe coffee that's full of flavor and always satisfying. Chapter four, grinding. The journey of Nescafe coffee continues as the roasted beans are ground to a coarse powder. This step is crucial as it prepares the coffee for brewing unlocking its rich flavors and inviting aroma. The grinding process is carefully controlled to achieve the perfect size for the coffee grounds. This ensures that each cup of Nescafe coffee delivers a consistent and delightful experience for the consumer. The ground coffee is then ready to undergo the brewing process, where hot water extracts the soluble coffee solids, creating the concentrated coffee that Nescafe is renowned for. Chapter five, extraction. 
In this crucial step, the coarse coffee powder is carefully placed into a series of extraction cells, which functions similarly to traditional filter coffee machines or percolators. Here, hot water is skillfully added to the grounds, initiating the extraction process that brings out the rich flavor, enticing aroma, and deep color from the coffee. It's fascinating to note that hot water is the only additional ingredient introduced at this stage, highlighting the purity and simplicity of Nescafe's approach. The coffee grounds journey through multiple extraction cells, each stage continuing to concentrate the coffee, intensifying its strength and character. This meticulous process culminates in the creation of a highly potent and flavorful coffee extract. Importantly, the extraction process isn't just about strength. It's also about capturing the essence of the coffee, ensuring that all the delightful aromas are retained. But Nescafe's commitment to excellence doesn't stop there. In a remarkable display of sustainability, no coffee grounds go to waste in their production. Instead, they are dried and repurposed as fuel for their boilers, exemplifying Nescafe's cup of respect ideology that emphasizes respect for the environment and responsible resource management. Chapter six, the art of drying. Nescafe's commitment to quality extends to the drying process, where two distinct methods are used to transform brewed coffee into its soluble form, spray drying and freeze drying. Spray drying is the more prevalent technique, known for its efficiency and effectiveness. It involves spraying the liquid coffee extract into a hot air stream at the top of a tall tower. As the droplets fall, they lose moisture and solidify into a fine powder at the tower's base. This powder is then carefully dampened and sieved to ensure uniform granule size, ready to be packaged into jars or sachets. In contrast, freeze drying is a more intricate process, often chosen for its ability to preserve the coffee's full flavor profile. Here, the liquid coffee extract is first frozen at approximately minus 40 degrees Celsius, forming a solid layer. This layer is then broken into small pieces and placed in a vacuum chamber. Under the vacuum, the water in the frozen coffee sublimates, turning directly from solid to vapor, leaving behind solid, insoluble coffee particles. Spray drying remains the preferred choice for most soluble coffee production due to its efficiency and ability to produce consistent, high-quality results. Chapter 7, Filling Process. Following the meticulous stages of roasting, grinding, brewing, and drying, Nescafe's finely crafted soluble coffee powder, or granules, undergo a crucial step, delicate filling into glass jars or sachets. This pivotal process is conducted within an inert gas atmosphere meticulously maintained to shield the coffee from any potential degradation of its rich flavor and captivating aroma during storage. This commitment to quality ensures that each cup of Nescafe coffee consistently delivers an exceptional taste and quality, promising a delightful experience for coffee enthusiasts worldwide. Thank you for embarking on this captivating journey through the artful process of Nescafe coffee production. We trust that this insight has deepened your appreciation for the craftsmanship and unwavering commitment that go into every cup. Be sure to stay tuned for more engaging content. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for future updates. Until our next adventure, savor the moment with Nescafe, your ultimate coffee companion.